What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwood and I am back again today bringing you guys a new video and today we are searching for golden tickets and today they actually got released. There are four golden ticket cards that were released. There's a Cam Newton 99, a Matt Stafford 99, a Harrison Smith 99, and a Kiko Alonso 99. All of them elite cards and uh, yeah I mean these cards look amazing. All of them look absolutely incredible so hopefully we're able to open a few. Let's open up the first pack and see what we get. First card out of the pack University of Phoenix Stadium. Eh, bunch of junk here. Hey, there's Mason Foster. That's not too bad. I mean, that card's not worth very much, but at least it's a fantasy card, so maybe that's going to be a good sign. Let's take all these, though. Throw them in the reserves. I'm, I'm not going to keep very many cards out of this unless it's something that I can put into my active roster or, you know, something that is worth a lot that I want to put right onto the auction block or something. Other than that, they're pretty much going into the reserves. So... Well, this pack, there's my gold card. That's always nice, a gold contract extension, oh boy. And then I guess I did get here another draft card, a Julio Jones Combine Invitation card. Could be worse, I mean, it's not worth very much, but at least it's the start of a collection that I haven't really done anything with yet. I always take these gold contract extensions and just put them on my favorite players or like my final edition cards because, you know, they're gonna pretty much be with me forever anyway. Hey, another collection card here for the Julio Jones, the silver carrying. I don't know what that goes for. Maybe, a, I'm going to guess like a, a couple thousand coins, maybe like 3,000 or something. Nothing real spectacular. That'll probably be the best card from this pack, let's be honest here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, and of course it is. Yep, absolutely nothing of value here other than the Jones carry, but we'll take that and uh, we'll go on to the next pack here. So guys, as we're scrolling through this, I, I hate to be the guy that always just reads off every name that he pulls, so I'm not going to be doing that with this pack opening here today, but I want to know what cards do you guys like the best out of these golden tickets? Um, you know, because I'm looking at them, and I see this Cam Newton, which is obviously just an absolutely ridiculous card. It's got like, what, 98 speed when you add on the plus 2 speed to it? Actually, that kind of actually reminds me of this Seneca Wallace. I remember the days when I used to take Seneca Wallace and make him my starting quarterback in my franchises because I think other than Mike Vick, he used to be the fastest quarterback in the game back in the day. He had just terrible throwing stats, but man, that guy was a beast with the ball in his hand, running around in the backfield, making plays down the field. But anyways, this Cam Newton's unbelievable, but I'm looking at this Matt Stafford as I pull a Sean Lee here, that might be the best card that I have uh, pulled in quite some time. This Sean Lee is worth like, I think like 20, 25K. So that's at least something. Maybe we'll make a little bit of money back here. I'm planning on pulling 10 packs, by the way. So hopefully uh, we're able to uh, get something decent besides just that Sean Lee card. That's going straight to the actives though. Probably going to put that on the trade block right away or the auction block. But anyway, so with these two quarterback cards, the Cam Newton and the Matt Stafford, I really think you could make the case that the Matt Stafford is better because it has significantly better throwing attributes. Now, granted, it's only, what, 84 speed when you add on the plus two speed to it, but, I mean, still, 84 speed's pretty good for a quarterback, and it's got 100 throw power, 98 throw accuracy, and then it has 100 throw accuracy deep, which is just freaking out of control. I mean, that's just a ridiculous quarterback card. I think he's going for like half the price of Cam Newton right now, though. So if you're somebody that can make use of a quarterback that's not just a complete running quarterback, dude, Matt Stafford is the man. That is an absolutely crazy card. And uh, we're going to go backwards through this one here. Earl Mitchell, eh, not worth very much. I think he's worth like 2 3K, but eh, that's my elite card for this pack. Another, oh, boy. But, you know, I guess beggars can't be choosers. At least I'm not pulling a Mate Teo in every single pack like usually happens. So, I'll take it, I guess. Uh, even though Earl Mitchell's probably just going to sit in my reserves. Um, I, I might throw him on the block here for, you know, get the 3K for him or whatever he's worth. But the other card that I was really excited to see on here was Kiko Alonso. Because if, I don't know if you guys do the same thing with your linebackers or not. But I tend to trust my linebackers in coverage a lot more than other people do. And yeah, it's to my detriment a lot of times, I'm not going to lie. But have you seen this Kiko Alonso card? He has 90 zone, 83 man, 100 play rec, and he has 94 speed, plus 2 speed. So he's, I think he might be the fastest linebacker in the game with 96 speed. I can't think of anybody that would be faster. Uh, but man, that card is absolutely ridiculous in coverage. And that's exactly what I need him for. So 
I'm going to be looking for that card to see if he at all drops in value over the next couple of weeks because I might add him. And sorry about the cut there, guys. That was an accident. I accidentally closed out of the wrong program there at the bottom of my computer. I closed my Elgato. And uh, let's see here. Okay, so we get Jordy Nelson. Not too bad. I, I will definitely take that. It's worth a couple thousand. And there we go. A Charles Woodson collectible. Defensive player of the year. I think that one's going for like 10K. So I, I recently got the Charles Woodson card, so I don't really know that I need another one, but I can definitely put him on the block uh, along with the Sean Lee and, you know, maybe this like Jordy Nelson here and a couple of these other cards. Hey, I'm at least coming back to coming close at least to making my money back. I'm, I'm not sure that I'm going to, but at least it's closer than what I usually get when I open up 10 packs. I usually get like 10K of cards in return. So this is definitely a nice step up from that. Let's just say that much. Next pack here, uh, Chargers Stadium. Hey, Julio Jones catching. There we go. At least that card's worth a little bit. I don't know. I, I don't think it's worth like as much as like speed and that kind of thing, but might be worth another like 5, 10K, something like that. I haven't looked up exactly what it's worth, but that is going to do it today for the pack opening video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm not so huge into pack openings and, you know, I didn't really pull anything super great here, but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. If you did, make sure you leave a like. If you could comment, I would appreciate that. I want to know what golden ticket card you're looking most forward to. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.